Because I own shares in Tesla and I don't own any shares in Volkswagen, well, I'm not so happy about this news because, well, finally, it seems Volkswagen is actually getting their shit together. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to have you here. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Volkswagen promised they would provide over-the-air updates to their electric cars. Yeah, I made a video on the fact that they didn't really live up to their promises. But don't worry, Volkswagen not alone. Jaguar claimed the same thing. Many car manufacturers have claimed the same things and yeah, haven't really lived up to their promises. In fact, there's been some pretty massive software glitches and issues with ID3 and ID4 Volkswagens, which I've spoken about on this channel on a few occasions. As you know, I'm a big fan of Herbert Dees. So a little bit of me wants Volkswagen to succeed. A little bit of me wants them to fail so that Herbert Dees jumps ship and goes to Tesla because the Tesla stock price will go up. Yeah, I guess I can't have it both ways. Now, here is the good news for Volkswagen and for Herbert Dees if he wants to keep his job, which it seems like he does. Finally, Volkswagen has nailed an over-the-air update. Well, actually, I'm being a little premature on this. They're saying they've nailed it. Let's see if they actually deliver because what they're saying they will deliver is the most impressive over-the-air update for any legacy car company in the history of vehicles, of the automotive industry, not just the electric car industry, in the history of the vehicle industry period. Now, obviously, I'm not including Tesla in this list. They're not really a legacy auto. And I'm not including any Chinese car companies because we don't consider them legacy auto. So now that we have that fact pointed out, so you're not going to say in the comments, what are you talking about, idiot? Tesla have done this. You know, what are you talking about? x have done that. I'm only referring to legacy auto here. And if they actually pull off this over-the-air update, over the air update, well, I've got to say, that will be a very big achievement and it will suggest that they are doing some good things in their electric vehicle development. So Volkswagen has announced their generation 3.0 software update for their ID EVs. This includes assisted driving, charging improvements, and two other improvements, which I believe set them apart from every other legacy automaker currently on the face of the earth. These two big improvements, uh, well, they're game changers, put it that way. Now, this 3.0 update includes a slew of new and optional, optional being key here, upgrades to features like automated driving, charging performance, battery performance, and car performance, and the AR heads-up display. By the way, the heads-up display, yeah, Tesla, what the hell? Put it in your cars, please. Heads-up displays, they're, why do Teslas not have them? I don't get it. Don't get me wrong, I don't own a Tesla, but I still have driven them and I still, I have a heads up display in my car. And if I could actually pay, say, an extra $2,000 or whatever to get it in a Tesla, I would do that personally. Let me know if you agree. Maybe you don't. Let me know. Now, the electric reports that as Volkswagen's global ID family of EVs continues to grow, so does its year-on-year -year delivery growth, which more than doubled in 2021 compared to a year prior. This currently includes EVs like the ID3 and the ID4, as well as the ID5 GTX. Now, I should point out the fact that while this sounds good, it does mean they are still a long way behind their rivals, their key rivals, Tesla. And it does mean, well, only 5% of all the vehicles they delivered in 2021 were for the electric. That's still not a very large number for the company. And they need to accelerate faster than 100% year-on-year growth in order to keep up with their rivals, China and Tesla. Now, these vehicles, their electric cars, are all part of Volkswagen's Accelerate strategy to further EV adoption and become a net zero climate neutral throughout the entire company by 2050 at the latest. That sounds a bit concerning to me, 2050. What? Seriously? Come on. Now, this strategy includes introducing a new electric vehicle model every year through 2026. And apparently, they plan on having 70 different EVs across the entire Volkswagen group of brands. By 2030. To me, that is ridiculous. I don't understand the logic behind that, but who knows? I guess I don't work at Volkswagen. Maybe they know better than I do. We'll soon find out. These over there updates apparently will come in Q2 of this year. So not this, not this quarter, but that said, the next quarter is coming in one week. 
so it shouldn't be too long now. The details include one of the new features, which is travel assist with swarm data. This optional driver assist tech will help keep your ID EV in the center of the lane and maintain a safe distance from the car in front at a preset speed. Additionally, Software 3.0 will utilize ultrasound radar to allow for assisted lane changes at speeds of up to 90 kilometers an hour or 56 miles an hour. Next feature, Park Assist Plus with memory function. By the way, I'm gonna leave the best features for the end, so if you want, you can fast forward to the end. Continuing with new automotive features is Park Assist Plus, in which the Volkswagen EV can search for a parking space and complete the maneuver whether it's a stall, a bay, or a parallel spot. If desired, the assistant can park autonomously with the help of the environment sensors and take full control of the car, including steering, acceleration, braking, and gear changes. Don't know why they mentioned gear changes considering they're EVs, because they don't have gears, but anyway. For this, the driver stops at the selected parking space, applies the brake, and activates the parking process via the start button in the parking menu. However, remember, the driver still has to remain present in the vehicle and at the ready to take it over in order for the parking assist feature to actually work. In addition, Volkswagen is rolling out an optional feature called Park Assist Plus with memory function, in which the vehicle can be taught up to five different parking maneuvers at speeds below 40 kilometers an hour and a travel distance of up to 50 meters. The driver just has to park once and save the parking maneuver so the EV can learn to repeat that maneuver autonomously next time. That feature though appears to be an optional extra that you have to pay more for. Next feature, display updates and optimized voice control. Volkswagen's ID3 software will see updates to its AR heads up display, including additional displays in the long distance zone and the new symbols such as roundabouts and information on the distance to the destination. The turn arrows now appear much more integrated into the surroundings. In the ID cockpit, the state of charge, or SOC, is displayed as a percentage next to a battery icon that shows the charge level per the request of many current Volkswagen EV drivers. So this is one really big thing, right? Volkswagen drivers have said, Volkswagen, we want this. Volkswagen have said, okay, here you go. That's very much a Tesla type of thing to do. You've got to say, you've got to give them kudos for that. Optional navigation has also been optimized to more precisely locate your EV in the lane, recommending when you should change lanes for junctions and exits. This lanes change indication will now appear in the ID light, which is the strip light located under the windshield. Lastly, Volkswagen's Halo ID voice control recognizes commands faster and more precisely with improved recognition percentage up to 95%. Charging improvements, next up. Volkswagen is promising on the latest software update that their charging will be better. Soon, Volkswagen models equipped with the 77 kilowatt hour battery packs will be up to charge at 135 kilowatt using a DCFC up from 125 kilowatt previously. So it's an improvement of about 9% to the charging speed. However, the most important updates that they're saying will come, we don't have the exact details on yet, but Volkswagen has promised that this new update will give their cars longer range and more efficiency. We don't know exactly how they're going to achieve this, whether or not they are going to eliminate some of the buffer. So normally cars have a battery buffer. There'll be a couple of kilowatt hours of battery buffer. Maybe they've done enough testing now to realize that they can decrease that battery buffer in order to provide more range. But I'm not sure how they're going to improve the efficiency on the cars. Maybe they've done some testing on the motors so they can provide some changes over the air to the way the motors run. That's something Tesla has done in the past. But clearly, this is the most important part of this update, in my view, increasing range and improving efficiency. We don't have details on that yet, but the fact that Volkswagen said it's coming is, I have to say, very impressive. And I hope that they can deliver on this. So what this could mean is that auto lane changing and park assisting could be free on a Tesla, could be free on Volkswagen vehicles with this over there update. But if you want those features on a Tesla, you have to buy full self-driving, which currently costs around 12,000 US dollars. We don't know for sure that it'll be free, but it looks like it may be. That could be a good thing. That might actually encourage Tesla to offer those features in future as a standard feature. That's the great thing about competition, right? Automakers bring out different features, they outdo each other, and then it's a win-win for consumers. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. 
What do you think of Volkswagen's latest updates? Will you consider buying an ID3 or ID4? Let me know. I'm, in, I'm intrigued to know if people in America or Canada or Europe or Australia, well, Australia, we can't get them, but you know, or China are actually considering an ID3 or ID4. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.